My kitchen cabinet lighting stopped working. It started not coming on sometimes when the switch was thrown, then stopped coming on at all. I pulled the switch looking for a loose wire and put the switch back in. The lights roped for a couple times, then stopped completely. Figuring a faulty switch, I installed a new one but they still don't work. Don't know what brand they are or anything, but tiny bulbs with a 2 equals prong flat end that gets plugged in. Is there any ballast type thing to consider? Doesn't look like it. Mike Hello Mike How many lights are that not working? Are those round, looks like hockey puck, under cabinet lights? None of the lights are working. They are Xenon X2000 bulbs, about 12 on 5 different strips. Are the bulbs 12 or 120V? The box says Z10-12. Does that help? Since you said that those are strips, each strip has its own transformer so it cannot be transformer. Please open the switch and tell me how many and what color wires are connected to the switch. I black, white, and neutral, there. I guess it's 12 V. It took me forever to figure out that they were tied in with the smoke alarm breaker and not the kitchen lights. First let's eliminate problem with the switch. Please shut the breaker off. Splice black to white at switch box. Turn the breaker back on and let me know if the lights work. It's a new switch. What do you mean splice black to white? I attached the wires to the new switch the same as they were on the old one. Black on top right, white on bottom right, ground on the left. Did you connect round slash bare to green screw on the switch? Please disconnect the black and white wires from switch and splice them to each other. We have to be sure it is not a problem with the switch. Let me know. You mean physically connect the white and black wires to each other? Isn't that going to blow up? What result should I expect? If the black and white wires were connected to the switch brass screws then by splicing them to each other the lights should come on, unless there is a problem after the switch box. It should not blow up or trip the breaker. Okay. I didn't actually splice them together, but I disconnected black and white from switch, flipped the breaker back on, then touch the black and white together. Nothing happened. Since you only have two wires going to the switch, there should be a splice box somewhere or maybe the transformer. Do you know if that switch has been relocated? Please look under the cabinet and let me know if you can see how many wires are going to each light. Please also look under the sink cabinet and tell me if you see any type of box. I don't see any kind of box anywhere. I've lived in the house since it was built on a 01, nothing's been relocated. The lights are both over and under the cabinets. It's all worked for 10 years. It looks like there might be two sections. Right of sink slash window, left of sink slash window. A couple strips look like 13 has NMB, other strips close together are connect by two white wires. My smoke all rams and electric start propane cooktop are on the same circuit. I'm really getting confused. Over the cabinets? 
Can you look on the top of the cabinets and see if there is a junction box there? It must be a box somewhere. If the lights do not work. How did you figure that they are on the smoke detector's breaker? Some lights are over the cabinets some under. Upper cabinets are diff heights by a few inches. No box over the cabinets. I tried almost every breaker in the house, kitchen and beyond, and I couldn't shut electric off to that switch. I finally thought, well, the breaker marked smoke alarms is probably low voltage, and the lights are low voltage, so shies them. I flipped the alarm breaker and the switch finally went cold. So did the elect start to my cooktop. If there's some box under my cooktop, I don't see it. Do you have a voltmeter? No. Can you tell me manufacturer name and model hash of the lights? Well, I was hoping to avoid that, but, I took one of the fixtures apart and it says Juno Low Voltage Fitting TL3812-24V, 20A Max. Well Mike. That is low voltage lighting track which does not have a transformer installed in it. The transformer is located remotely. We need to find that transformer. Is there an attic above the kitchen or basement below the kitchen? I usually install the transformers under the sink. However it might be installed anywhere as long as it is accessible location. Okay, let me ask you this. If the lighting is tied in with the house smoke alarms, and the kitchen island downdraft cooktop, would the transformer for the lights be after those two? Or would they maybe have it in front of all three? I didn't see anything in the basement or anywhere else. Just assuming I haven't found it yet. How big would it be? Would they hide it under insulation in the basement wall? I've looked in the accessible places. Alex, what you're basically telling me is that there is a central transformer that is controlling all the low voltage kitchen lighting, and I have to find it, correct? And then what? I replace something? The licensed electrician should not hide it in the wall. Is the basement unfinished? It might be before or after those. It depends on the electrician who installed the lights. As I said to eliminate such a problems in the future, I usually install the transformers ether under the sink cabinets, over the top cabinets if there is a room between ceiling and the cabinet or in the cabinets. Please let me know about the basement and go over each cabinet. To answer your second question, if all the lights are working off of one switch it should be one or depending on the amount of light it might be two transformers as well. Once you find the transformer we need to check if there is 120V going in the transformer and 12V coming out of it. If there is no voltage coming out of it then the transformer needs to be changed. Okay, so I guess the transformers can go bad? Just like a circuit breaker? Just replace it? Mike. Transformers go bad before the breakers. It might work 10 years, might never go bad or go bad in one year. Depends on the amount of load you have on it, on surges, manufacturer, location and it also depends on the amount of time you turn it on or off many variables. Mike please understand that I cannot give you 100% accurate answer without finding the transformer and having a voltmeter. The reason I asked you if the basement is unfinished, 
if it is then you could try go under the switch and see if there is a wire coming down from it and follow it and it might have brought you to the transformer. The basement is unfinished. Check if you see the wire. Alex, although I'm not done, I appreciate your help. I've got some work to do. Thanks, Mike. You are welcome. Have a great night. I can't figure out how to pay you. This website is not very customer oriented. Mike. As soon as you click accept I get paid. I have already received my part of your payment so thank you for accepting my answer. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.